Hey y'all, it's Pierre Bot from Game Press and we are here with next week's events. The theme is going to be Camp Cretaceous and it's going to start on Wednesday, July 20th and go through Tuesday, July 26th. And this theme is because the brand new season of Camp Cretaceous on Netflix will be coming out on Thursday, July 21st. So uh, JWA is going to have a themed event to go along with it, which is pretty exciting. So as usual, we are going to go over all the creatures that you can dart, what we suggest you dart, and all of the uh, information you need for the week. So let's get started with commons. Wednesday and Thursday, we have 36 attempts at Dilophosaurus Gen 2, which is a global anytime, Monolophosaurus Gen 2, which is a local for anytime, Velociraptor, which is a global anytime, and Stegosaurus, which is a Saturday global. With the commons, dart what you need. You need a lot of Velociraptor DNA to max out all of its hybrids that it has. Uh, it is a pretty good creature in of itself, especially in the common tournaments as we saw last weekend. But also keep in mind that like Stegosaurus is a Saturday global. Global creatures cannot be scented. So if you really need that Stegosaurus DNA, then I would go for that um, since you can't normally scent it. Otherwise, dart what you need. Friday and Saturday, we have 12 attempts at Epics. We have Bumpy, which is an exclusive. Comsognathus, which is a local one anytime. Kentrosaurus, which is a park anytime. And Scorpius Rex Gen 2, which is a hybrid of Carnotaurus and Monolophosaurus Gen 2. Go for Bumpy is what we would suggest. Always go for the exclusive. However, Comsognathus is not a, a bad option either, and if you need the Kentrosaurus DNA and you normally do not live near a park, that's not a bad option either. But if we had to choose, we would definitely say Bumpy, go exclusive. On Sunday, we get one attempt at a Legendary. We have Parasaurolophus Lux, which is a short-range prox proximity spawn. Scorpius Rex, which is a uh, hybrid of Peratorus and Monolophosaurus. Ankylomoloch, which is a hybrid of Bumpy and Stiggy Moloch, and then we have Rexy, which is a non-hybrid exclusive. We would definitely say go let Red go Rexy. Um, if Rexy is in the pool of creatures, we definitely think that's going to be your best option, simply because the other ones are either huntable, technically, or fusible, and Rexy is only available in events. We have not had it out in events that long, so if you're looking to level that up, then I would definitely say Rexy is going to be your best option. For rares, we have Monday and Tuesday, 24 attempts at Spinosaurus, which is a global anytime, Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2, which is a global day, dawn, dusk, Carnotaurus, which is a Friday global, and Baryonyx Gen 2, which is a local to anytime. Nothing in the rares really jumps out, except Carnotaurus could. Uh, its hybrid, Indotaurus, is still fantastic and very viable in several different arenas. Um, it's falling off a little bit at the top, but it's still a force to be reckoned with, especially if it's able to dodge. So uh, you need a lot of that Carnotaurus DNA for the various hybrids that it has. So we would definitely say Carnotaurus is going to be the best of all of them. But if you need any of that other DNA, then go for what you need on the rares. On Wednesday, we have a Baryonyx Gen 2 strike event. Friday, we have a ghost strike event. Ghost is new. Um, it is going to be uh, new in game as per the new update patch 2.17, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Uh, so definitely go out and get that DNA because we're pretty sure that's going to be exclusive um, and only available during events. We have Hadrosaur themed scents on Thursday and Monday. And then it also looks like we have an emote themed strike or an emote scent or emote strike on Saturday and then of course your usual um, attack health and speed strikes as well for boosts and then the rest of the strikes that are going to be throughout the week are going to be the same theme and creature should be the same creature pool as you see in the event supply drops. We are completing our Arctops pursuit and starting on Wednesday we are going to have Acrocanthosaurus as a pursuit creature that is normally an epic local three creature and we are finishing up the para, um, Parasithops hybrid pursuit. Technically, um, Parasaurolophus Lux is part of 
that hybrid, but we did not see that as an option whenever they released the hybrid pursuit image. So we are assuming we are not going to be getting a Parallax pursuit and Acrocanthosaurus is going to be the last pursuit creature for this hybrid, we think. More to come next week, hopefully we'll get some more information on that. There is a skills tournament this weekend. We have Epic, Rare, All with no stun moves allowed. If you go to the forum, um, there is a link to the tournaments and it will show all of the creatures that you are not allowed to use for this weekend. Otherwise, any Epic and Rare are going to be available as long as they don't have a stun move on them. The big uh, news for this week is on Tuesday, July 19th, we do have an update for patch 2.17. The game will be going into maintenance at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can kind of work out what, what that means for your specific um, time zone. But Eastern Standard Time, 8.30 a.m., game will go into maintenance. We are not sure how long it's going to take. We never know exactly how long it's going to take, but normally it is around three to four hours. So um, something to think about, make sure you're not running any sense or anything like that. Get all of your strike events done, get all of your attempts done for the creatures, do everything that you need to do before um, that maintenance, because the game will be in maintenance whenever the uh, switchover is for the new day, technically. Uh, make sure to check out our Game Press article. Our Game Press article is going to have all of this information in it, and in, it even goes into further detail about which creatures are best to dart based off of where you are in the game. So really good, useful information. Make sure to scroll down at the very end of that article because we have a link in it that will give you basically 50 in-game hard cash. So if you click the link, it will take you in-game, give you 50 hard cash for free. That goes live on Wednesday and um, we do that every single week, so make sure to keep an eye on our articles that we put out every week for the weekly events. Obviously, with a new update means new creatures, new raids, and some exciting new videos, so make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that, and thanks for listening, y'all.